Hey everyone, welcome back to 60 Seconds on Security. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about what can be a confusing topic because it's not as straightforward as it might seem uh, when I introduce it. And that topic is the idea of opting in or opting out of lists or participation in certain things online. I want to come at this from two perspectives, just real quick. One as a consumer, two as a business provider, service provider or somebody like this. So as a consumer, what you're going to begin to notice the further and further we go with this proliferation of technology and your information being everywhere is that you're going to be marketed to. You, didn't, you, you don't really get a choice about whether or not I want to opt into all the ads that I'm going to see all the time. And I want you to take a moment, you know, as you surf the web, as you look through uh, sites or people that you do business with and things that get presented to you through Google, through Yahoo, through Facebook, through Twitter, through any other application that you're using, that have ads in them, notice how many of them aren't things that you've actually expressed to someone else. I just want you to notice that. These things are done in the background with algorithms of data based upon where you visited before, the types of things you appear to be interested in, and they get dumped in front of you. Now, I realize for a lot of people that seems kind of convenient and kind of cool. From my perspective, however, I find it kind of creepy, kind of stalkerish that this is what's going on in the background with my data and people make assumptions about me and are basically trying to socially manipulate me into buying their products based upon not even knowing who I am. So I haven't opted into those things. These are just being thrown at me. I am much more of a person that says I would rather go to a website and decide what I want to know more about than have you throw things at me. This is just a different mentality and something that you should consider as a consumer. Now on the business side, lots of studies done on this. And I'd suggest you go out and, and look some of these up as a business person. There is so much more power in allowing people the opportunity to actually opt in to what you're offering than there is to just dump everybody into the pot and say, well, you can opt out. Most people aren't going to care anyway. 60-70% of people aren't going to care. There's going to be 20% on one end, 20% on the other that want to decide to opt in or out. So as a business person, here's the challenge for you. Who are you trying to sell to? Just think about that for a minute. Is it everyone, or do you want to find and specifically opt in those people that have the most interest in your product? Just consider that from a business bottom line perspective for a moment. Would it cost you more to be this way? Maybe. But would you also have people that were actually interested and not just be blanketing the world with whatever it is you're going to send out as marketing and advertising? So this notion of having opt-in services where... I can now identify people that are actually interested in what I have to offer. It actually makes my business better. It develops trust further with those that I'm doing business with because I'm putting the choice in their hands. And by putting it in their hands, I get a direct statement of interest in what I have to offer when they opt in. I want you to consider those things, the whole opt-in, opt-out kind of process that occurs online uh, via web marketing. Uh, web selling, buying, whatever it may be. Think about it as a consumer. Think about it as a business. Opt-ins are better for both ends. Personal opinion. But it's something, if you want, take a further look at it. Um, as always, if you just want to learn more about other general security topics uh, online, where your information is, how it gets used, watch some more videos below. Until next time, stay smart, stay secure, stay safe. Thanks for watching.